Today, I'm gonna take these 3D printed pieces Today, I'm gonna to take these 3D printed pieces and make a bridge. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, today we're gonna to take all of these pieces here that I 3D printed, and this white PLA filament, and we're gonna make a bridge. Now, I am using just a cheap white 3D printed filament. This came in one of the 3D printers that I unboxed. I'm not sure which one. But it's white and I thought the contrast would stand out against the orange. Now the pieces themselves were 3D printed on a Prusa Mini. And uh, I just designed this quickly in Tinkercad. These pieces are just a rectangle with two holes, one on each side. So you can string filament through there to create yourself a rope bridge. What you might not know is that on that side of my garage, I'm actually building a 1 24th scale rock crawler course. Now this is just for our little 124 scale trucks and we're gonna have a little fun crawling around on it. Uh, so far it's been super fun to build. It's time to add a couple of bridges. Now what I don't know is how long this PLA is gonna hold up. I know that it gets brittle and cracks over time so I have a feeling it's not gonna last forever and if I'm driving on it and it breaks, it's gonna cause a glorious crash. Let me show you how I think this is gonna work. So my plan is to take the course, bring it over here onto the bench. Then I'm gonna measure the gap between the space that I need the bridge. Take some planks like this, take a piece of filament like this. Again, this is just white PLA that I got in one of the printers. And then what I'll do is each plank has a hole like this in it on each side, one here and one here. These holes are two millimeters thick and this filament is 1.75 millimeters thick. So this should slide through just like that. Once I get all of the planks on one side, I'll go back and do the other side. And in the end, it'll create a bridge. Now, the cool thing about this bridge is that we'll be able to curve it if we want, because you can curve the filament. Uh, you'll be able to make the bridge planks closer or farther apart, depending on how far you want it and how the tires work. We don't want this too easy, but we also don't want it impossible. So the cool thing is we can do whatever we want. But I think what we need to do first is get the course on the bench over here and get a measurement. Poof. Just like that, here is the course. Now, I moved it over here onto the bench so I could film it. And as you can see, it is quite large. I had to put my camera quite far back over there. And uh, it is six feet long, that's what it is. I built it on a six foot table. Underneath is a two inch styrofoam that I got from Menards. And this is the beginning of our rock crawler course for our little 1 24th scale car. Now the part we are gonna be focusing on today is actually right back here, from this spot to this spot. Well, I'm hoping this goes smoothly, but hey, you never know, so let's do it. So I got the course spun around and I wanna go from this here up to this here. Now it's hard to see in the camera, but this is actually an angle here that kind of goes back. Uh, I can kind of show you. So this is straight here and it's kind of angled back like that. So what I have from this spot is roughly 22 inches and that's what we're gonna need to start with. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get some filament cut. Maybe that is a little longer. Maybe I'll do like 30 inches a piece for the filament here and then get some planks going and let's see how many planks it's gonna take to create a bridge that comes from here all the way down to this spot right here. We're gonna get 30 inch pieces of filament and a bunch of planks and let's see how many it'll take to actually fill this spot in. All right, so I got my line cut and I got my bridge pieces and now we're gonna put these things together. So I think I'm gonna start with 10 pieces and we're gonna see if 10 will work. And if we need more, we'll put more in. If we need less, we'll take some out. But I think we should do that sped up because you guys don't wanna watch me do this all day. Let's do it. So I interrupt the montage with a issue. So I'm trying to push the filament in to each one of these, right? And the problem I'm having is it appears that my next one in line here, there's something inside of the hole not allowing that filament to go through. So I'm gonna use an Allen wrench. Maybe that'll work. Otherwise I can get a drill bit but I just wanted to show you the issue I was having 
is that sometimes uh, when you print these, a little piece gets in that hole and the filament wasn't going through. So the Allen wrench trick worked. I'm gonna pull some more and we're gonna keep going. Now that did take me a little bit of time because I had a couple of them that were fighting me on putting the filament through those little holes, but it worked out. Uh, as you can see here, I uh, used Coex 3D Mystery Roll, which just happened to be this orange color here. And I printed a ton of these. And as you can see in this picture, the Mystery Rolls uh, are like transition rolls. It starts with one color and it goes clear and then it goes into another color. You can see in some of these, that I was further into the roll when I started printing because they're lighter. But some of these were nice and dark like the original color. So that is actually orange. It's kind of hard to see in here, but that's kind of a fun thing from Coex 3D, a sponsor of today's video. Look for a link in the description below and you'll find a 10% off discount if you want to use them. But this stuff is awesome. So what we did was we created the 10 piece bridge here and I'm not sure if we're going to need more or less. So that's what we're going to find out now. Let's take a minute and prep the course for the bridge. How it's gonna work is I'm going to attach it up here and we're gonna spread these planks out so it runs all the way down to here. If I start spreading these planks out and I, you can hopefully ignore all that curly filament because I left quite a bit on the end just in case we need to cut the ends off uh, you know, from pushing it through. And also I wanted to make sure we had enough. I don't wanna do this twice. Now I understand that this will be brittle and will break eventually and that's gonna happen. I, I understand it's gonna happen. But for now, it's gonna be fun, and in, if it breaks, I'll have to mount it again with something either more strong or just stronger filament. One thing I noticed on this filament is my bridge planks here, we could call them planks, tend to slide a little. So we might have to hot glue them or something on when I'm done. That way they don't go all wonky and sliding on us. So I'm gonna put five more planks on here to see how that goes, and I'm gonna do that now. It looks like we're gonna make it. I'll spread these out nice so they actually reach all the way down, but I don't want it to be too easy as well. I think the next thing we need to do is get it secured up here, and then we can plan on how we're gonna secure it down here. So something I did not think about with PLA is that hot glue melts it. Uh, I just got these in here and I was looking and I realized that it got super thin and stringy. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I did not realize that hot glue would melt PLA. So what I need to do is pull some of this back. I'm gonna have to cut this. Uh, I'm gonna have to start over. I, I don't think this is gonna stay in here. Uh, maybe a PETG would be better. And I, I think that would probably be a better choice. Maybe it won't melt. I guess I'm gonna have to try. Let's try that again. Okay, so for now, all I did was slide the ends of the PLA into the foam. And I'm gonna get some more foam and foam over the top to lock that in. Then on this side, I wanna bring it down and secure it over here where we're gonna be going. So uh, it's gonna come from here all the way down to right here. So I'm this far and I think I'm about where I want it. Now it is a good, a good hill here. So I need to kind of figure that out. I'm probably gonna pull this back a little bit more so it sits back up in there. But I, I think either I need to take some planks out or this is gonna be a pretty good challenge. And I like a challenge. So what I'm gonna do is get, I brought over a stapler. I'm not sure if that's the right tool for this job, but we're gonna find out. So this is the stapler here. Definitely not the right type of stapler you would normally use for something like this. But all I wanna do is uh, put a staple here and see if it will hold the filament into the side of this little mountain thing here. Now, I am gonna find some good ways to mount this eventually, but obviously my plan originally was hot glue and hot glue didn't work. <laughs> so we're gonna try a little staple here and then maybe I'll do some foam uh, over the top because the foam will really encapsulate that PLA and and it'll be awesome that way. I'm gonna hit it, maybe put it right here. Now that'll hold it in place. Now the benefit of the staples too, is that if I need to pull my filament back because I can already tell it's coming out up here, I can do that. So I can pull the filament back and give myself some more up here, push the bridge back down this way. Now I'm gonna finish this thing up so it's 
hopefully sturdy enough. I'm gonna get my crawler and let's see if it works. So this is my Axial SCX24 crawler right here. And I'm gonna attempt to crawl and go down this bridge. Now, I don't believe this bridge is gonna hold it, but we're gonna find out. I have a feeling that I'm gonna to have to do some glue that's not hot glue and get this thing held into place. But as you can see, it articulates really cool uh, over all these different obstacles. And whoa, as soon as we get on that bridge, it starts to sag and we're gonna find out if the weight is just too much. Or I can, oh no, all the way across. <laughs> well, I guess that's the answer to that. Uh, it did not work. The reason it did not work is because these planks slid, which I need to find a solution to that. And also because the bridge is so steep currently. Now, what I want the bridge to be like is more like this. So I want it to be taut and Right now, it's not so much. So if we try that again, oop, looks like I'm backwards here. Sorry, Caleb, you can edit this garbage out. Oh, sh so if we try it again, the bridge is a little more straight this time. I have a feeling we're gonna have the same problem. Uh, it is not secured good enough. What I'm gonna have to do is get some glue and put some glue on it. Because <laughs> currently it just falls and the truck falls off. Real quick, I want to jump in and talk about Thangs. Thank you so much, Thangs, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Thangs is quickly becoming the biggest 3D model website you can go to. There's over 5 million models now. And in the description below, you'll find a link to these planks that I printed so you can print a bridge yourself. So go check out Thangs with a link in the description below. And again, thanks, Thangs, for sponsoring this video. The bridge is now hanging and it's time to test my SCX24 uh, deadbolt and see if it'll actually go down this bridge. I actually ended up using some adhesive that I had. I'll show you what kind in a little while here. Now, something to note, these planks are not locked in yet. I haven't figured out what I want to do there yet, but eh, we're going to see what happens. So if we take the car and we drive it over here, you can see some pretty cool articulation in the back there. Uh-oh, I might be in trouble. The back wheels are already off. Well, that's not good. All right, here we go. So, something to note. I'm going to have to do something to lock these planks in because, as you can see here, this is creating quite a gap. Now, I don't have a problem. I think I'll get over it just fine. But, <laughs> but that could be an issue later. Now, if I turn this thing back around, I'm not sure I'm going to get up it with those gaps, but we're going to try. Why not? Why not? Nope. Clearly, I need to do some more work on my 3D printed bridge. Pretty cool, though. That was a little bit about my 3D printed bridge. Now, this bridge is fully 3D printed, as you saw earlier. The planks uh, were 3D printed on a Prusa Mini, and I just used white, cheap, PLA that came with one of the printers as a test uh, for the rope or the connection between the bridge. Before I forget, what I used is this Liquid Nails Extreme Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive. I had this laying around and I thought I would give it a shot. It didn't affect the PLA, it didn't eat it, which is great. And in a day, about 24 hours, uh, roughly, it was dry and I could start driving on it like this. It uh, is in a tube, something like this. It's Liquid Nails Extreme Heavy Duty. This stuff is pretty awesome. Once this gets brittle and breaks, I'm probably gonna have to replace it with something stronger. I'll probably go maybe with a PETG or something like that. But this was kind of a fun project. I haven't done something like this on this channel before. This SCX24 has been just an absolute blast. Uh, the articulation these things have is amazing. I will put some links in the description below. If you wanna check one out, the Deadbolt, uh, you can get them for around 100 bucks, $110, something like that. Uh, for the, the red deadbolt. There's also a couple other trucks uh, that you can get. There's a whole ton of upgrade parts if you're into RC. And I'm telling you, these things are a blast. You don't have to have a lot of space. This is only a six foot table. And I'm not done with this. As you can see, it's like foam and plaster and PVC and wood and all sorts of stuff. This is all gonna be finished off. Uh, more 3D printed parts to come. There's 3D printed parts on the truck I'm probably wanna talk about as well. Thanks for watching the video about my 3D printed bridge. Like I said, everything will be in the description below as far as links and all the good stuff. 
I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one. And as always, keep printing. <laughs> it is just hanging there. I have no idea what it's hanging on. Oh man, you can leave this part in the end of the video, that's fine.